Hello everybody, I want to show you with this video 10 cool things you can do with the Samsung Galaxy S21 in the Fan Edition. Okay, the first thing I want to show you is a um, sidebar, almost invisible. If you swipe in here from this point, you will have a little sidebar and uh, very useful also with one hand and you have quick access to your favorite apps. Now you can swipe it in also with one hand and remove it. So very uh, useful this uh, feature but uh, you should edit uh, the bar first that there are your favorite apps. So just swipe in like this and uh, go here on the hamburger menu and if you go here on edit you can now uh, choose your favorite apps. Go on the minus here to remove some apps and then just choose here an app from the lists. May let's take YouTube here of course and will be part of our list. If you're ready with, just go here on the home button and the sidebar is, it's, it's saved now with your new settings uh, and YouTube is here and so on. So take your time to have your favorite apps there. And the next feature I want to show you is saving a bit of time because always if you tap on an app, maybe you have a little animation. Have you seen it? It zooms out and later if you close it, it zooms in. But you can make your phone much faster with removing these kind of animations. And it's also a better performance, by the way. Um, so let me show you how this works. So just scroll down here, then go to the symbol for the settings. And then we need to scroll down to the point accessibility. And here we have the point visibility <laughs> enhancements, I'm sorry. And here we have the point, remove animations. Okay, now, as you have seen already, if I quit the app, no zoom in and so on. Um, now if you tap on Play Store, it's immediately there. If I close it, it is immediately gone and that makes it much, much faster. So let me enable uh, the animations again. So that I turn it off, then now animations are there. Zooms out, zooms in. You see that seems really slow, huh? And if I remove these kind of animations, there, gone. Huh? So um, something you should really enable. Yeah, the next feature I want to show you is something um, especially for the evening because if you forget to off your smartphone or to, to forget to put it on silence, um, calls, messages and useless notifications may disturb you in the night and wakes you up. Um, there's, is, there's a way to, uh, yeah, to put the phone on silence automatically. Let me show you how this works. So just scroll down here, scroll down a second time. By the way, then you have much more apps here and you have a second page. Huh? And I want to show you this feature here. Do not disturb. If I tap it just like this, um, it will put many stuff on silence. Now you can give also some exceptions. I will show you the next step. If you say, okay, I want to have uh, also, if I put it on silence, all my uh, messages from WhatsApp. Can do that. Huh? Okay, if you want to set it up, just go here on the written words no? because then we usually have more options here on uh, these shortcuts. Do not disturb, tap on the word and go then on details. So, and here, this is why I would recommend it to you to set it up first. Um, you can set up the sleeping time no? and you can uh, set up which day it should start and 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 so on. And um, in the night, for me, it's the most useful. Now you can turn it on, of course, on the day, may it work and so on, but in the night it goes automatic as it turns on automatically and so on. And here you can choose the exceptions. Exceptions. Now, what should pathing through during this time? Huh? Can allow some calls, some messages and so on, or just, uh, um, just a specific uh, contact who only are able to reach you during this time. Also very useful. No? You can also, of course, unmute alarms and so on because then the, um, yeah, you should uh, hear the noises in the morning. And um, also you can give exceptions to apps as I have uh, given, uh, given you the example with WhatsApp and so on. Okay. And uh, yeah. 
then uh, the next point I want to show you is also nice because you can clone apps here with the phone. Yeah? So that means, uh, let's keep going on with our example, WhatsApp. You can have two WhatsApp accounts on one phone. And why not? Because you can insert two SIM cards. So you can have one WhatsApp for each number. That works. Same also with, um, yeah, with the Messenger, Facebook. Yeah? Or Snapchat, you can clone also. You can two have two what you can have two Snapchat accounts yours on the phone. Uh, let me show you how this works. So just scroll down here, then go to the symbol for the settings. So and then we need the point advanced features. And if we scroll down a bit, we will have here the point dual messenger. And first of all, we have we will have we will have here a list with all the apps which supports that feature. And yeah, let's enable WhatsApp now or clone WhatsApp. Um, here, at this point, you can um, decide if you want to have a separate contact list, but you can do this also later. So that means that you have an own contact list for your second account. Then let's enable Snapchat. Facebook and also Messenger. Okay, and here is the point, by the way, if you want to use a separate contact list for the second apps, you can enable it always here at this point. Okay, but let us have now have a look how it looks like if you have uh, second apps. This is how it looks like. Now, this is our first WhatsApp account, and this here is our second, now, our first Snapchat account and our second Snapchat account. You can always recognize the clone with the orange mark here at the corner. Same with Facebook, our main Facebook, second Facebook. And here, please note, this dual messenger mode doesn't support the light versions of Facebook and Messenger. Now you can clone Messenger and Facebook and so on, but you cannot have the clone at the light versions. But if you need maybe a third account, you can have um, the light versions as an extra app here, as in my case. And now I have three Facebook accounts uh, here, maybe on my phone, just like that. But uh, as I said, the light and the, the light versions of Facebook and Messenger are not supported here with that feature. Same, by the way, also with Instagram. So you cannot clone Instagram here on the phone. I don't know why, but it doesn't work. Okay, there's another feature you should enable if you want to hide something here on your phone. Maybe you have a specific app no one should see who have access to the phone. Uh, then you can hide the app. Uh, I want to hide uh, TikTok or we can also hide another one here, maybe TikTok and Netflix. Let's hide TikTok and Netflix. And let me show you how you can do that. Go in the home screen like me now. Pinch in with two fingers and then you will have here some more options uh, for the home screen settings. Just go here on settings and scroll down a bit here and you will have the point hide apps. So then you will have a list with all your apps here and now you can hide apps like Netflix here maybe and let's take TikTok as well here. Okay, good and on done. And let's have a look now. So no Netflix, and also no TikTok anymore, but they're still on the phone and you can use them regularly. But how to use them? Let me show you how this works. For that, we will need now the search bar. So you can have the apps only at the search bar. That means you need to, so you need to know the name. Huh? So go on the search bar and enter now maybe a TikTok. Yeah. And here we have then the app. And here we can go then on open and I have opened now TikTok. Same with Netflix or with the app you wanted to hide. The next feature I want to show you, you should really set up is the blue light filter because we are looking too much on our smartphones and it gives our eyes a lot of stress. And you can reduce these stress things uh, with enabling the blue light filter. Let me show you how this works. So first of all, scroll down here, scroll down a second time and go here on the second page and here we have the eye comfort shield. If you tap on it, you see that the screen is a bit, also the color of the screen is a bit changing um, because the blue light um, has been reduced here a bit. But I would recommend you to tap now here on the written word eye comfort shield and 
actually there's enabled ad an adaptive mode uh, which one uh, put sometimes uh, uh, turn a bit just the blue light filter on but it's just a bit um, I would recommend to you to go on custom and now you can change the color temperature by your own you, and as more warm you did it as, as more the opposite is as more powerful is it as you can see the color of the screen has really changed um, it's a bit unusual at the beginning of course but later for your eyes it's very very good and at latest in the evening um, it is really helpful for the sleep um, there are some universities so finds out that if you're using our smartphone especially in the evening it disturbs our sleep and uh, you should really enable this at latest in the evening if you don't want to have it on a day how you can do that you can schedule this automatically that you don't have to turn it on auto by your own you can schedule it um, that it's turned on automatically just go here on details for that and here go on scheduled and I would recommend you to schedule from sun sunset <laughs> to sunrise uh, the phone detects then in which time zone you are and will turn it on automatically and turn it off automatically and something which supports that feature is the dark mode uh, also scroll on scroll on a second time and on the second page we will have now here the dark mode and if you tap on the dark mode especially in the evening everything becomes dark here and uh, let me show you better in the settings everything what was white uh, before has been dark now um, no? think about if you are if, if uh, you have a dark night and you have a very bright screen it's also not good for the eyes so this dark mode will definitely helps you but on the day yeah you cannot see so much especially if there's much sunlight and so on so i would really recommend to you to enable this just in the evening uh, as on the night no? and uh, also go here on the written word for dark mode and then you have also the option here on details to turn it on as scheduled and of course i would recommend to you to turn it on from sunset to sunrise and by the way this dark mode feature um saves also a lot of energy because um, we have an OLED screen here and the dark mode can turn off some pixels and as I said it saves energy as well. The next feature I want to show you is a one-handed mode because the phone have a large screen as you know and you cannot reach everything with one thumb but uh, there's a way to make the screen a bit smaller. Let me show you how we can enable this feature. So just scroll down here we do the simple for the settings and then we need to point advanced features here again and we will have here the point one handed mode if we enable it if you want you can tap also on one handed mode and you have uh, some examples here uh, we just need our home button and if we swipe down the home button we have enabled now the one handed mode and now I can easily work with one thumb so with one hand and i can play games and so on and so on so i have full access to the phone and uh, what is also very nice if i tap you on the arrow i'm having it on the other side so now it's better for left-handed people huh? so very nice if you're finished with the stuff you want to do just tap you on the outside and you're back at the regular mode yeah, the next mode I want to show you is something if uh, your eyes are also not the best anymore and you need a uh, larger text and so on. So let me show you how you can enable this. So just scroll down here, then go to the symbol for the settings. Then we need here the point display. And here we have the point font size and style. And here you can enlarge a bit the text size and so on it was what is also very useful if i go back one step so that, that i'm back in the uh, display settings here. as you can see um, the text size have affected already here um, the settings uh, the, the text of the settings if i go on screen zoom i can also enlarge a bit also icons and so on and as you can see um, you have now also larger as you enlarge also the notifications but this is one disadvantage here because you cannot see the full text so not so many texts anymore yet notifications huh? but the rest like the settings and so on you have uh, yeah, 
you can have um, yeah, you have a larger text and you can read it better and so on. So when the, we are already the last mode has, this has been really 10 features. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so we are at the last mode already um, because we have a power saving mode here. I think you have seen it already. We have a power saving mode in case uh, we have less energy or we have to go a bit longer we can enable here the power saving mode and so on and turn off some stuff in the background and so on but also here i would recommend to you to tap on the written word power saving because if you go here on details at first he will tell you what he will disable huh? but i would recommend to you to go here on details because you can set up these kind of features what you want to have turned off and so on huh? And uh, so we have to increase the brightness of the screen with 10%. Uh, we limit the CPU speed with uh, up to 70, so with uh, um, yeah, up to 70%. Uh, turn on, turn off always on display and so on. Turn off 5G. Uh, but in some cases, in some cases, you really need you have to squeeze out the uh, squeeze out the rest of the battery. And for that, I would recommend to you the limit apps and home screen because if you enable this one here and if i now turn on the power saving mode then i have a limited uh, also home screen with just some specific apps huh? and you can add also four of your favorite apps um a whatsapp and so on or the <laughs> galaxy store and um yeah, but he disabled also the GPS location, oh, but you can enable it later as well. Uh, and as we have learned, the screen have now the dark mode. And this dark mode screen um, saves also a lot of energies because it turns off some pixels here and so on. Uh, um, so this is the really maximum power saving mode and I would really recommend this to you uh, if you are in need and may this saves your life one day. So enable um, the last point I've shown you, uh, I will show it you again now. And you see here also always, because this is most important, what is your battery? Now, if you just have a few percent, I would really, if you need your smartphone um, uh, urgently, then I would really recommend to enable this ultra power saving mode. Uh, if you want to go back, if you have the chance to charge your phone again, just go in the three points turn off power saving and then we are back in regular mode uh, let me enter it again uh, go on the written word power saving uh, on details uh, you should really enable here this limit apps and home screen because then you can really squeeze out the maximum of your battery in case you need it one day yeah that has been the video here for the 10 first things to do uh, for your phone. I hope I could show you some, some new stuff, uh, some helpful stuff. And uh, yeah, maybe if you want, you can leave me a nice comment, uh, maybe here below the video, uh, maybe with your favorite tips and so on, or some nice words. <laughs> and uh, yeah, or you can give me a thumbs up. That is also very helpful for my videos. Uh, thank you so, so much for uh, that. That's really a support for, for my videos. And uh, yeah, if you want, you can have also a look on one of my other videos or subscribe me to miss, don't miss a new video. I will make some more videos here for the phone. Uh, thank you so, so much for all your support. It's really helpful, as I said. And uh, yeah, maybe until next time. <laughs> Ciao.